Good morning. My name is Mike Yazina of Menorcan Magic here, cash net maker here in San Augustine, Florida. And what I want to do in this video is cover uh, something that I haven't done actually yet, and that is how to install the braille lines, or we call them tucks back in the day, in a cash net. Uh, you know, you build a house, you build it from the ground up, and the, and the cast net is built from the top down. So the the, uh, the braille lines are the last thing, the foot line, then the braille lines are the last thing, and, and you're ready to fish. I just want to show you a couple of <clears throat> different types of horns. Uh, there's so many new ones now, but uh, here, these are the oldest, this is the oldest, uh, this is one of my favorites here. That's a little, the little plastic, just a little plastic horn that the tuck, Go down through it. This hooks up in the top of the net like like so, and then as you can see, I have a net hanging here. But I use, <clears throat> I'm a uh, historian, I guess. Anyway, this is what I use. I use a cow horn, and as you can see, I've done this. This regular cow horn has been cut off, and I drill my holes in it because this goes around inside the uh, inside that net, and then I've got holes here to tie it to secure it where it can't come loose. There's the swivel. Uh, and I'll show you a closer up of how this goes in a little bit. Uh, now, I want to show you the very first horn that, that uh, I can remember back in the late 40s. It was simply a little brass ring, and uh, that's what it was. That, as far as I know, the first horn. Uh, and uh, one, another thing to show you is, as you can see, they, they, they've come up and, and made these things with where you can divide the tucks up. You know, this this is two types here, different ones that, that, that uh, and these are actually, these are old. These aren't, stuff has drastically changed. That's for a big, that's for, this, this came off of a, I people give me old nets with for the for the lead line, old rotted up uh, monofilament nets, and I take the stuff off. I never use this. Good demonstrator, but that came off of a 14 foot uh, uh, net. Anyhow. I'm wasting time. I want to move right along. This looks like some type of a homemade thing here. In fact, I know it is from what I'm seeing, but that's made out of some kind of a plastic, uh, as is this one. And I already showed you this one. Now, excuse me just a second. I dropped my swivel. Uh, to put the, when you're putting braille lines in the net, uh, for one thing, if you've got a six foot net, you're going to have six and six is 12, then you want to add two feet. So you wanna, you're gonna cut a braille line that's uh, six, six is 12, 14 feet. And what happens is you're gonna cut, depending on how many braille lines you wanna put in that net, that's how many of these you're gonna cut half. In other words, if you're gonna put, uh, if you were gonna put 20 tucks in a net, you're gonna cut 10, 14 foot. And you see what I'm doing here, Phil, show them. See how they, this goes through the swivel? And this is just simulating. Uh, this this would be the this would be the ten, and what you do you come down here like this. When you get them all in, you get them even end to end. Then you're going to wrap this. You're going to do half fishes, which I'll show in a little bit how that works. Uh, to make and then of course your hand line goes on here, which I'll demonstrate it uh, in, a, in a little bit. But I just wanted to get you started. Now let's move out to uh, uh, if you would, Phil. Let's move out here. I have. Uh, this is a, uh, a six foot, I call it a utility net, it's a, it's a bait net. This is going to uh, Brunswick, Georgia. As soon as I finish it, I have the, as you can see, I have the tucks laid out. In this particular net, I put 18 tucks in it, so they're going to they're be uh, 11 and 12 uh, leads, leads apart. That's another thing, in order to, to, uh, to put them in the right placing, you have to know how many leads there are around the bottom of that net, and then you're going to divide it by the number of braille lines that you're going to put in it. So if you had 20, it would be 20 into 210, let's say, and then that's going to come out the spacing for these, these, these braille lines. Now what I've done for the sake of time, I've already got them secured. You want to start out in the center and get them straight as you can. Uh, and see how I've got them laid out. They're secured where they're going to be. And I left two over here, and Phil's going to swap places with me. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you now what I'm going to do. This is going to finish up this net. 
and it's going to be ready to hang a security sign. But you can see what I did. I, uh, I'm going to reach down here. What you simply what you do, you have them in a place where you want. Then you're going to come down here. You're going to drop the. Can you see that, Phil? Okay. You're going to okay. drop in between the. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I went in underneath from the inside, and all I'm, all I do is just simply put a. A half inch. Don't put no boat. He'll come loose. Now I've got one more to do, and then I'm gonna be through with this, and we're gonna move over there and show you how to install these things. Cause uh, this is the last one. See what I did? Do you see that good feel? Come coming in from the inside. I come down through around that. I use a quarter inch solid braid nylon lead line. That thing will last forever. Now this net. It's ready to finish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach down, I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to catch. Remember I told you earlier, I was going to show you about this top. Yeah, okay, turn around, Mike. All right. That little bugger. Stay right there for a minute. About as sweet as they come. Now, what I've got in the top of this net, that's a cow horn. Hold on. I'm taking a close. That is a cow horn. And since uh, uh, Andy, Andy Jones is, is going to be, I'm going to tell you about him in a little bit. Andy Jones is going to be using this net in the ocean for catching pogies. Want no way for that thing to come loose and him lose that net. So what I have done here, here are the, here's the braille lines that I've told you about. See how I've doubled them? And when I got here to the top. Hold it open toward what? me. Can you see that? Hold see it how right I wrapped there. it yeah, hold with, on. with half hitches, pull them down tight. And uh, I coat this with fingernail polish. It'll be bonded. It'll never, ever, yeah. ever come loose. That is a brass swivel. Uh, the uh, now Hold it open so I can get it without your hand in the way. Okay. Now. Right there. Hold it. Hold it. I want to get a close-up. All right. Now, what I've done here. Move your hand out of the way. You're going to be all in it. Anyhow. Okay. I've gone through the swivel, and I've worked it inside this. I use a, I use a braided poly rope. I've run it down inside, you know. Now, what I have done here, I've done this in three places. I want to make absolutely sure that this can this can never come loose on him. So I've wrapped it here, I've wrapped it in the middle, I've wrapped it on just above the end where the where it comes where it stops. That'll be there when the cows come home. That's going to be a. Uh, this is Andy's net. Now I want to tell you a little bit about before we move on over there. I want to show you, and I do the same thing at the end. Usually, on a six-foot net, I usually put uh, 20, depending on what the person wants. I usually I'll put 20 foot, 20 foot, seven foot. I'll I'll jump up to you know 22, 23, uh, eight foot. I'll, I'll go to 30. I did the same thing here. See how I made a little loop. Hold steady. Made a little loop. And I run it through the same way and wrap it and tie it so that cannot come loose. That's going to be there again, like I said, when, when the cows come home. Okay, are we finished with this, Phil? You satisfied with that now? <laughs> okay. Can we cut? No, no, okay. we're going to move on over here. Okay, we're going to move on over here, but wait a minute, I forget, I'm forgetting something. Let me tell you about, let me tell, I'm running you ragged, I'm sorry about that. We're amateurs, by the way, folks. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about Andy Jones. Andy Jones is a, a, a he has dedicated himself to uh, the I don't know I guess surely you've heard of the uh, Golden Ray, the, that big cargo ship that sunk that sunk in St. Simon Sound up off of Brunswick, Georgia. It's called the Golden Ray, and uh, what Andy does, he's got a, a on YouTube. You go if you you need to look him up. You'll enjoy what he's got what he's doing. I mean, he, he is dedicated to what he's doing. And you can find him very easily, Menorcan Mullet on YouTube. Now, and Menorcan is spelled M-I-M-I-N-O-R-C-A-N. You know how to spell mullet, not the hairdo. 
Norkin Mullet YouTube. Uh, look him up. And every day or so, he's out there and he's he, he's videoing the cutting up of the ship. They're cutting the ship up. It's over 600 feet long. It had uh, around 4,000 cars on it. Uh, and what happened when they were coming out of Brunswick Harbor and, and, and the thing turned over. It was a, a loading issue. They didn't have it loaded properly. And so the thing turned over and there it is. They're having, it's only four years old. What a waste of, it's costing hundreds of, hundreds of millions of dollars, I'm sure, to, to do what they're having to do to this thing, to get it cut up and, and done away with. But anyway, that's enough on that. That's Andy's net. <clears throat> that's going to him later this week. Now, let's go on over and I'm gonna show you the last thing that I wanna show you today. And that is uh, how you can secure these things. And I hope that wind is gonna bear with me a little bit. As you can see, notice on a, on, on a, on a handmade net, how pretty that lead line is. You see how pretty, how secure that is to that net. There's, there's no slipping, no sliding. I mean, uh, you, you buy these store-bought nets and they got a little old flimsy line, maybe, you know, maybe 532nd, 1-8 to 532nd, something like that, a little flimsy stuff. Unless you buy a better one. Now, you can buy better ones. But anyway, now what I've done here is, I did the same thing to this as I did that net out there. And that is, now, that, I'll get a close-up of this, Phil. Okay. I'm gonna untie that little, untie that little knot. Come what with I'm, you. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this a little different. I'm gonna take that loose, and I'm gonna come in from the inside. See what I did there? I come on the inside, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a clove hitch. I'm gonna come on the inside of this thing, like that. I'm gonna come back around on the, on the other side of that braille line, and come through there again, and back through. Can you see that form, that clove hitch? You see that, Phil? Okay. Yeah, as tight as I can get it. Yeah, that's good. Now. Okay, I'm gonna run this down. I'm not gonna tie that there. You want this thing up a little bit, about like that. You, you don't want this thing, <clears throat> it'll help you from tangling. Nets have a tendency to tangle. I don't care how careful you are, they have a tendency to want to tangle. So if you pull this up just a little bit, pull this up just a little bit. Now you wanna pull that nice and tight. Now see what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come in here and put half hitches. All right, I'm gonna put about about five. That's one. Sometimes I'm all thumbs. I'm gonna swing around to the other side while you're doing Two. that. Two, okay. We're gonna make a little change in how we do it. Uh, this is a new venture for us, I think, because usually we do everything inside. All right, that's three. Four, you can put more if you like. I just put five, you could put six, you know. Now, you see why, you see why I added that extra foot to that braille line? Now you see why. This is why, you wanna, you wanna have some line here, you have a little waist, but you wanna have something where you can grab this and pull it. You wanna be able to pull that thing tight. I'm gonna do one more for, just, just for the fun of it. All right, now I'm ready. Now. I got that. Now comes the tricky part. The tricky part. One you got to really be careful with. Now <clears throat> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna cut this thing. I'm gonna cut it. Probably about three eighths of an inch. Hold on. Can you see me good? Yeah. I'm gonna cut that off. See what I did? I cut that off. I'm gonna take and match and hope that wind will hold up just a minute. We've had a lot of wind here in the last few days. I was holding my breath that we would have a, a little break today. So far, so good. Now, what I, you know how wind does it. See how I'm keeping this thing out away from that net. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to burn this and bond it right into that. I'm going to take that thing like that when the wind lets me. And that's the trouble with it. Is uh, I don't know any other better way to do it. Oh, come on. Give me a break. This is embarrassing, folks. I can't get it down. I 
All right, see what I'm doing? I'm catching on a fire. When it gets down, I'm gonna blow that match out and I'm gonna take, see what I'm doing? I'm taking that match. See how I just bonded that thing right into that. that it, that'll be there when the, my old say when the cows come home. Now, for the finishing touches, see that's one. Finishing touches now is I'm gonna take my clear fingernail polish. If you like pink, use pink. If that is in material, I use clear. And what I see what I'm doing, I'm, I'm coating this thing really good because this will, there's no way, there's no way that this is ever going to come loose on you. That's going to be there. That's what you want. You don't, I mean, there ain't nothing worse. I mean, I learned a lot of this stuff the hard way because back in the day when I first started doing this stuff, uh, you know, technology, we, that, they used to just take, I'll show you in a second what they used to do. Because I'm only going to do one more of these before I wrap this up. Okay, I got that one. That one's ready to go. I'm going to do just one more, make sure you understand what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to tell you what they used to do. The old timers, used, this is what they did right here. This is what they did. They just came around that tuck just like that and just put half hitches. That's what they did. That's all they did, like just what I'm doing. They did, <laughs> they'd put six, eight half hitches and they'd be up this line and then they'd just take, they would just take it, cut it off, pull it tight and cut it off. And guess what would happen? That thing would loosen up and come off. And you would be, you would be out fishing and there's nothing worse than a damn tuck coming loose on you, fish are coming out the net and going everywhere. So I said, well, I got to do better than that. So that's when I started probably about, I don't know, probably about 60 years ago, I started doing it the way I'm doing it now. Because you know you learn over time, and you and you may come up with something better. You know what I mean? This is, now I've tied myself a damn knot and I can't get it loose. All right, so for the sake of time, we're going to skip that and go to the next. And do, Let me show you this. this is the last one. Remember again, we're going to take this thing. I'm gonna pull, keep it tight. See, I'm pulling on that horn. Make sure it's tight up there. I'm, I'm gonna come loose. I've come, I've come through on the inside. I'm gonna come on one side of this thing. Like that. Back on the other side. Like that. Come up here and I'm gonna catch that thing. I'm tuck it up just a little bit, about like so. You can see how that how I've got that. You want to pull that nice and tight. I'm not going to burn this one because of the wind. I'm just going to show you. You saw what I did on that first one. Cut it off and burn it down and take that match and smear that melting nylon into that uh, series of half hitches. Then coat it with the... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to catch a break. You might catch a break and be able to do it. Phil, what do you think? Give it a shot. I'm give it a shot. I hate, I hate wasting your time. You know, you're good enough to follow this stuff. Uh, the next video, I think I'm going to do one on on uh, tools, on all the tools. I've got, I've got needles that date back 500 years. <laughs> I've got some artifact stuff that uh, right up to the date uh, where, you know, Phil and I make all our own tools. So we have, we've done a video on making needles, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. So you know what we do. So I'm going to cut this. See where I'm cutting this? One last time. This is going to be the last one. If I get blowed up, burn up with uh, All right. It's doing me right. Be very careful. Don't get this thing. It you you know it'll burn you a little bit, but that's all right. Not bad. Now that thing's ready. I'm gonna put my stuff on there. We're gonna wrap this up. Uh, if you have any any questions, uh, we'll have a website. It's called Menorcan Magic. That's spelled with an E instead of an I. And it's I minus E. Uh, MenorcanMagic.com. Menorcan Magic, it being one word. And his Menorcan Mullet is two words. You've got to look him up on YouTube. You will enjoy 
what he does. Uh, with that, I have changed my phone number uh, after, God, I can't tell you how I many, I hate to even tell you how many years we were with AT&T, but they kept going up and, and the bills just got so high, the service with the internet's not that great, so we switched over to Xfinity. And my new phone number, the same area code, 904, and my new number, it's 904-217-7974. So if you want to call me, uh, my email address is, is uh, Eusena Mike, one word, Eusena Mike, gmail.com. Email me with any kind of comments, or you can comment on uh, on YouTube. Uh, I think I pretty well covered everything I need to cover. I showed you the different little things, and, and uh, with all of that, I think that... Uh, until the next time, I've really enjoyed this. Always enjoy these little videos. Hopefully, I'm getting some information to the people that want it. Uh, most people is probably just, you know, it's just something, something to see. You know, something that uh, how things go. But a lot of people don't know anything about a handmade net. They go to Walmart, so they go online and they buy a net. Uh, and uh, you know, and for most practical things you're going to do, go catch some bait. That's all you need. But there's a difference between a handmade net and a, and a, and a, uh, a store-bought net, I guess if you want to buy a Kia or you want to buy a Lexus, you know, <laughs> probably about comparison. But there is, that, th these nets are, uh, will last. Uh, I'm fishing with a mullet net that's 30 years old. Still fishing with it. Now, needless to say, I don't go that much anymore. But uh, anyhow, uh, with all of that said, uh, Hope that uh, everybody has a marvelous, stay safe with this, uh, with this virus thing uh, and, and uh, take care of yourself. And uh, until the next time, I'll be signing off and uh, bless you.